Georgia O'Keeffe by Nayla Kanan. Georgia O'Keeffe was born November 15, 1887 in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, to Ida and Frances O'Keeffe, who were both dairy farmers. She died in Santa Fe, New Mexico, 1986. She painted objects from the natural world, mostly flowers, and received many awards. At that time, women artists were generally frowned upon. Her paintings smashed walls, broke barriers, and inspired me. Georgia O'Keeffe was the second of seven siblings. She knew that she wanted to be an artist at age 10. So in 1905, she went to study at the School of Art Institute. But in 1908, family financial and medical troubles forced her to leave. In 1916, she sent a few drawings to Anita Pulitzer, who showed them to a photographer named Alfred Stieglitz. Later that year, Stieglitz displayed 10 of her drawings in an art gallery called the 291. In 1917, she visited her brother Alexis in a military camp in Texas. She painted a painting called The Flag to show her feelings about World War I. That same year, she did her first solo show at the 291. In 1918, she moved to New York where Stieglitz found her a place to live and work. December 11, 1924, Alfred Stieglitz divorced his former wife, Emmeline, and married Georgia O'Keeffe. Stieglitz was not loyal to Georgia. He continued to have an affair with Dorothy Norman till he died in 1946 of a stroke. In 1946, Georgia O'Keeffe moved to New Mexico. Moving to New Mexico completely shifted her art. She felt energy from the dust storms and heat lightning. She enjoyed painting mountains. She made her mountains look almost alive. Georgia O'Keeffe never enjoyed painting people. She preferred to paint flowers. One of her favorite subjects to paint was poppies. Georgia O'Keeffe showed an unusual dedication to her paintings. To her, her paintings were like her children. She also always bought the best supplies despite the price. My favorite painting by George O'Keefe is Evening Star Number 3. It was painted in 1917. I like how it looks nothing like any other painting of a star, and yet it seems to feel like one. The colors almost glow. Another painting I like is Jimson Weed. It was painted in 1936. I like it because the flower looks strong and powerful, but also graceful and beautiful. I think the colors work very well together and enhance the beauty of Jimson Weed. I like Georgia O'Keeffe because I think she broke barriers in painting, but her work was still beautiful. She was an inspiration to me and hopefully will be an inspiration for generations to come.